Before you head into the San Diego ice arena, you need to pass the sniff test. COVID sniffing dogs are being trained there right now. Patricia Unger, the president of Scent Solution Canine Public Health Protectors, joins us now on the fort to tell us all about this. Patricia, thanks for making time with us today. You know, first off, let's just get right into this. How does this all works with dogs sniffing out COVID? Hey, Carlo, thanks. The way, that, the way it works, the do our dogs have been trained to identify the scent of COVID. When you have COVID, like if you have diabetes or seizures, many of the diseases, your body makes unique odors, what are called volatile organic compounds. Our two very sweet dogs have been trained to pick that odor up. If they smell, but when they're on, when they're being told to work, if they smell the odor, they will drop to a sit or sometimes to a down because they're waiting for a treat. They've been told that if they, if they, if they get the odor, the, 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 a, a treat's in, in, in store for them. We have some great helpers here with us today. Right. I, I, th I think you have a third one there too. That's kind of a familiar face. Yeah. yeah. Our Eric well, Connor. If it has to do with hockey, yeah. yeah, if it has to do with hockey, yeah. you know we, we practically live here, Carlo, right? Yeah, this is our hockey rink here. So uh, the boys are out here uh, glad to participate in this. So was the dog just there walking through? Was that about the extent yep. of their interaction with you as they're sniffing it out? Yeah, it's really quick. It only takes the dog a couple seconds to pick up the scent. Uh, they're, they're, they'll come, walk through. They can work a crowd. It takes about three to five seconds per person. You see what this is, Grom. You see what Grom is doing there. He's like, nope, these guys smell good. No COVID here. <laughs> I don't know about smell good, Carlo. Well, you know, no uh, COVID, hockey equipment no COVID. smells, but these dogs are so <laughs> talented, they can tell the difference yeah. between hockey odor and COVID, right? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yes. And so, why the ice rink? And why, why are we doing this at the ice rink? How did this happen for a training field? Well, first of all, the ice rink was very gracious about allowing us to come up and do this. We're here today and coming back on Saturday morning as well. The dogs are training. We wanted an environment where there are more people coming in, more distractions. They've been working in more than smaller places, like my backyard and some parks with small groups of people. This was a, they were willing to let us do it. And there's more people coming through, which for the dogs is a great training experience. And how many of the dogs have graduated through this and how effective are they? What kind of percentage are we talking about in being able to positively detect people who do carry COVID? Yeah. We have two dogs that we're working with. This is Grom, but the other one is Robin. We have, I don't, the dogs that are in working around the world, most of them are coming out about 96 to 98% accurate as a, as a screening, sorry, the dog, as a screening device. They're not diagnostic, they're screening but they're really good. I mean, their sense of smell is like 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than ours, which makes them really good at this. It's same as the dogs are used for bomb detection or, or narcotics. With our dogs, because they're just starting out, I don't have their exact numbers, but I can tell okay. you they're doing really well. All right, Patricia and Unger, the president of Scent Solution and Canine Public Health Protectors with that program. Eric, does it make you feel a little safer going through seeing that dog there and uh, checking you guys out? Yeah, they have a great uh, temperature scanner at the front. That's how we've been dealing with, you know, COVID and everything the past year and a half. So they've been keeping us real safe here at SDIA. This is a nice extra layer uh, to have. Um, I, my understanding is uh, when we pass the sniff test here, uh, the, the, the players that would not would actually go over to a tent and get an actual PCR mm -hmm. test. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a great idea when you've got uh, lots of people coming into one place yeah. at one time. Patty. All right, so well, let's hope we all pass. Thank you. Let's hope we all pass the sniff test. You guys certainly did today. We Absolutely. Thank you for your time, Patricia, and what you're doing. And thanks, Thank Eric. You, Carlo. We'll see you in the morning. See you, Carlo. Bye. Yep.